So my pressure is 105 PSI, 105 and a half PSI. I'm using my suction line temperature clamp and that says 81 PSI. This is R134. So at 105 PSI, here we go. There's 104, 106. We're somewhere right in the middle. So my temperature should be about 90 and a half P, uh, degrees. 90 and a half, but I'm 81. I'm almost 10 degrees, nine degrees difference. So according to the PT chart, and this is R134, I must not have R134 in this system. You know how you hear uh, Bobby Buttcrack who, uh, read some book or he heard somewhere on some video you're going to tell if a refrigerant is pure by hooking up your gauges you're going to take a temperature you're going to match it to a temperature to a pressure go to your pt chart and it's going to tell you what gas in it well according to this man i must have a different gas in here but how about this uh bobby butt crack how about if the cabin of your car is 130 degrees but the engine compartment is 80 degrees well what's located in the cabin of your car what's underneath that black plastic that's nice and hot your evaporator case so you will get how you cannot tell if a system is pure on a vehicle that was just operating a vehicle say left in the sun you have a cabin that's about 120 or 30 degrees our ambient is 80 degrees you have two different pressures there's no stabilization if you open the windows and the doors and you let this car sit overnight in a garage out of the Sun you could come close to telling whether or not because it'll be like a contained vessel without different temperatures in different places but as for temperature pressure chart relationship to tell if a gas is pure in a big system same thing for split systems on in residential or commercial you could have evaporators downstairs in a building that's 72 degrees, but you have a condenser on a roof that is 102 degrees. How are you going to take a pressure temperature measurement of the whole thing as an average to come up with whether the system is pure or not? Another thing, uh, think of a house where a condensing unit's in the back of the house, north side of the face, in the shade, 80 degrees, but the line set has ran up the back of the house through the crawl space of the ceiling right next to the rafters of the roof where it's 130 degrees going to a your evaporator inside your air handler in the crawl space. So you got an 88 degree condenser outside and you got a 130 degree uh, line set that might be 75 feet long going to a unit outside all right guys that's enough i can't get into detail because it's kind of frustrating when i hear people you can tell that uh gas is pure you know how you can do it you get a brand new bottle that's evacuated you evacuate some of that gas out into the system so you get some liquid in that system you bring it home you put it in a climate controlled room in the center of your house with no windows that have sunlight coming in your steady 70 degrees set temperature overnight and the next morning make sure you take a temperature the container should be the same temperature as the air in the room 70 degrees now use your PTA chart that's when you could use your PT chart not when you have different components in different places that whether it's on a house whether it's on a commercial building or whether it's on a car all right see you guys yeah PT chart I don't think so